you. Don't let yesterday take too much of your time today. It's so important to have a short memory, especially in sales, uh, but in life in general, uh, it's so important to have a short memory when it comes to thinking about yesterday, thinking about what happened yesterday, things about thinking about the things that happened to you, the things that you did, the things that went uh, not so well, the things that went great. Always have a short memory and don't let yesterday carry over in today. From a, on a day-to-day -day basis, you'll have days where you know, you'll have just a terrible day out in the field selling. Oh yeah, and then you got to get back out that next day, and you just had your you got to forget it too. Yeah, you, you got to forget gotta it. Have a short memory. Uh, we talk about short memory a lot uh, with, what, with what we do because it's, it's a very fast-paced uh, sales cycle. I don't even remember what his name is. <laughs> <laughs> but it's it's literally it's 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 only dealing with what is presented in front of you at that time and just handling that and to the best of your ability. Uh, one of my favorite books is QBQ, which is question behind the question. Um, and what they talk about in that book specifically is uh, framing how you um, ask your questions. And so QBQ is all about taking personal responsibility, not casting blame uh, on others. And so within QBQ, they talk about starting every question with what or how, not why, when, or who. So think about that. Starting every question with what or how, not starting your questions with why, when, or who. So think about that as it relates to just my story for yesterday. So I could sit here and I could say, why did I not sell 20 life insurance policies yesterday? Or why did those meetings have to get rescheduled? Or why, when I showed up to those two meetings, were they not prepared for me to be there? Or who dropped the ball that made it to where they didn't show up for the meeting yesterday, so now I had to reschedule? That's one way of asking it. The better way is to use what or how. What could I have done to make sure that the meeting yesterday went smoothly? What could I have done to communicate and over communicate the importance of the meeting yesterday to where they didn't reschedule? When you change your perspective, then the things around you start looking a whole lot different. And the things that, that start looking impossible or are, are insurmountable um, start looking feasible. Um, and it's only from changing you. So change yourself first, uh, which will change your perspective on the situations and will change the context of the circumstances that you're in. It's about taking personal responsibility. It's, it's putting the blame on yourself, not on others. The other uh, key thing with QBQ is starting every question with I or we, not you. So what? starting it with what or how, what could I what could we? And again, it's it's what what we focus on so much, which is personal accountability. That's right. And at the end of the day, blaming others does nothing to solve the problem. Nothing. And so it puts everything back on I. It puts everything back on me. Um, and you can, some some instances on this were almost almost comical when we would start realizing what we were saying. And we would say, like, we would have a problem with uh, someone that we were working with or working or, or talking to. And, and you would have, like, a question, and, and, and they weren't doing something right. And you would find yourself saying it in this what, how, or, and then you would kind of catch yourself, and then you'd literally, it would almost be comical. It's like, well, what can I do? How can I be better at my job from you not doing your job. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's almost like, yeah. okay, turn it around. Okay. How can I do a better job of explaining this to you so that you don't mess it up again? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like, but you start catching yourself in, yep. in every situation and, and start realizing that in order to fix the problem, you're gonna have to do something. Mm -hmm.